it's been a really long day. Um, but the week hasn't even started whatsoever. Today has just been like a time of just, I guess a lot of fellowship, and getting to know each other before we get into like the, like, like actual work of just working for the Lord. Um, I really am excited for what God's gonna do this next week because you know, today, yesterday was day one, today was day two, and then day three through six, so four days of just, of evangelizing, loving on people, bringing water filters to, to people that need it. Because especially in Dominican Republic, like the water filters are just not a good thing at all. So, you know, we just want to be there as best as we can. Love people as best we can. And, uh, thank you. This side does not have... Love people as best we can and just, uh, the love that God showed me, we showed to others. And that's the whole rule, you know. But this past two days, we getting to know each other and it's been amazing. Just to love, talk to each other, to love on, on one another, to fellowship, to, to worship together. And then tomorrow, like the, the good, the, like the meet happens. We meet the kids, you know, meet the families, love on them, give them water filters and stuff. And I'm just super excited to get to that. But yeah, this past few days has been as such like that fellowship. And tomorrow, you guys are going to see some really good stuff. He's already 10 years old. God, it is the Lord who goes before him. He goes before him. He will be with you. He will be with you. Guys, when you step into some house the rest of this week, before you open that door, no, God's already in there. God is already in there. He's waiting for you. Before you open your mouth to speak, God's provision of words of wisdom has already been provided for. Yeah. If you're walking confidently in the Lord and what the Lord says, not under any spirit of anxiety or fear, not rejecting that, knowing that God is with you. Man, what a night. I, um... I don't want to say. Tonight, tonight was just one of the best nights I could even imagine, especially for a trip like this. Um, if you guys don't, if there's people that are watching that don't believe in God, and I just want you to know that God loves you, and I love you. But more importantly than that, that God loves you so, so much. And if you've never, like, actually gotten to the point of, like, talking to Him and and really getting to know who He is. I want you to know that He's a Father who loves you so much and you're His children. And He desires to be in relationship as a Father and you, you, and you as, his, uh, as His child. God loves you guys so, so much. And tonight just encouraged me a lot because I just, being in, this, in prayer and seeing the Spirit move, it was just, it was insane. And I want you to know that God is real. God loves you so, so much. Um, Ready for more later on tomorrow. However, I'm gonna edit this video. Tomorrow is essentially day one of ministry towards the people of the Dominican Republic. We're meeting some people that are from Haiti, obviously some people that are from you know Dominican Republic, and I am so excited just to see how God's gonna move, how much God, you know, through his love in me, how he's gonna express that out into other people because God loves. He loves you, he loves me, and he loves the people that surround me and, uh, and those people that's in the Dominican Republic and people that are in Haiti or in any country in this world no matter what race, what color, what anything that you are He loves you Working out. What's going on? I got the big one right here. Guys, listen. In the background, Rocky's playing. So. My girl's just doing like a slow dance with the, 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 the weights. <laughs>
Guys, you're about to see the most insane game of code names you've ever seen in your life. I am the leader. Guys. I'm the leader. Nice. I, 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 I think it's much. Five by five, right? I'm the co-leader. Cool I'm the co-leader. For the other two. I'm the co-leader to the co-leader. I am the assistant to the regional manager. Are you playing? Are you leader? Yes. Okay. What do you say? Go down. You're going down. All right. We just found a tarantula just chilling next to the basketball courts, man. That thing is insanely massive. Wow. Welcome to the Dominican Republic, guys. I mean, look at that. What's going on, everyone? This is day three. And today is the actual, I guess, day of missions of loving and watching these kids. So we're gonna go out today for the first time around like 8.30 to 9 o'clock. Right now it's uh, 7.30 or so. And um, we're gonna just pray about it, prepare for, for it, eat some breakfast soon. Um, they get on the bus and go over to the houses and start just, you know, evangelizing, start loving and start helping people, start blessing people that need, you know, water filters and stuff. So that's the move, fam. It's gonna happen very, very soon, dude. Okay. She wants to be in it. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, we're going to. Where are we going? <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. But we're going we're to start getting to the house as soon and start preaching the gospel to people. And um, I'm excited, guys. We're going to be doing, like, essentially just a lot of just. Of, essentially, not just always, like, forcing the gospel, but just loving on them initially. And then through love, we can start preaching the gospel. Um, I'm gonna try recording as much as I can. If I can, I'm not, I'm not gonna force it. If I, because if I, I, I don't want to make them uncomfortable and then they they run, they flee from us. That's like the last thing I want to do. So I'm gonna try my best to be respectful, right? I mean, pass it down. Back. Right, babe, we're gonna get to a house. Start loving as soon as we can. I don't. Honestly, we, I think we're. This is kind of spontaneous for a bit right now. We're just see what's gonna happen and see how God's gonna work. <laughs> but we're excited to see what's gonna happen. We're gonna we're gonna have a translator from that speaks Creole, and then um, we're gonna get to it, man. We're excited. My hair is crazy right now. It's like no lie. No lie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's get to it, baby. I know. What's going on, everyone? Um, where you guys are watching right now is just a, like a pretty much a slum of a couple of clips that you're going to be watching. And I just want to explain as to what's happening because for, the only reason why I only record a couple of clips is just I didn't want to just be overbearing with a camera and be like a Cam Randy shoving a camera in their face as a bunch of Americans getting there for the first time. I just I thought that was like almost dis almost like borderline disrespectful. Because, like, our goal is just to be the light of the world and love on these people that don't feel loved. You know, because we're going to a Haitian community, and a lot of these Haitian communities are, they get, like, racially profiled a lot just because they're Haitians. And we wanted to be there 
to not see their skin or whatever, but to, to show them that they're loved and they're a child of God. And that was our heart and that was our goal as we're there. So it was about, about a group of 40 of us getting there for the first time to our first like missions. And we have like 40 of us, 40 of us getting there for the first time, just getting to the village, getting ready to set up. And we're going to be splitting to like six or seven groups, like three girls, three guys, one translator. And we're just excited to see what God, like what's God, what God's going to do in all our groups. Cause I know in our group, it was amazing. And the stories I heard was, was amazing, but we're, I'm going to be explaining like things from our perspective. And, um, like we went to this Asian community, we went, to, we went, to, we met this like this group of uh, people, and we met this woman with with this beautiful son. It was just an amazing conversation for for the first like t- like you know p- people that we met, and then here you're watching the second house that we went to, and the second house as we we're walking there, I felt a very strong demonic presence over the house, and as we're talking to her, just getting to know her, asking her questions, you know, just talking to her, getting to know the person. She uh, later explained to us how when she goes to church, like she heard voices telling her to like leave, like she she, she like you just tell her to leave, and she 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 was very afraid of those voices and stuff, and she didn't go to the church that much because of those voices, and we just you know at that moment we prayed for we prayed for her that you know the blood of like Jesus would be upon her, and that's the love of God that would be upon her and set her free from the, those voices, and um, that she she can become a child of God again, so like. We were there and we finished praying. We just talked to our kids and whatnot. And we felt as a group to go to our house and pray for the house and for our kids as well. And as we got there, um, as you guys are seeing, like, door, like, one of our guys saw, like, a bag of, like, fish, garlic, and, like, like glass, like, a, like hanging on the roof. And we asked her what it was. And she explained to us how it's, like, a spell she uses to stop witches from coming to, to her house. And she explained to us how, like, she was afraid that witches would take, would take her kids away. And she used that as a as a way to stop them. And we explained to her that, you know, that that stuff does not work against witches, but it's only God. It's the love of God. It's Jesus that will be, that can that can stop those demonic presences around her house. So we prayed that in Jesus' name. And one of her guys ripped it upon, ripped off the, the bag uh, on her roof with her permission. She said yes. And as we did that... At that very moment when he ripped it, we felt a very strong like presence of God in the house, and it was absolutely amazing to see like that happen. Like the presence of God fell upon the house, and it was just confirmation that God was there, that God is there, and He's protecting her and protecting her kids. It's just amazing to see that God's there for her, and it's just you know it's good to see that God's working and then God's just using us, and it's just amazing to see what God's gonna do furthermore after. It just it was beautiful. Guys, I am uh, Karen with a hat on. Okay. <laughs> So the first round of the day, guys, has been done. We ate, and now we're back into the field. What time is it right now? It's only two o'clock. Let's make the best. Yes, sir. Guys, come along with me. Sorry. That way, actually, I What? Listen, guys, we're excited. Two o'clock, I think we're gonna be here for about another couple of hours and then we're gonna hit the dip skis, hit, get some lunch, right? Kosmina. That's what I said. Did they say this is our street? Hola, hola. 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 This is one kind of hmm? I think this is the best. This I think is the best time to actually record because the last place was hard to record. Yeah. Oh right. well. She asked if we want to go in. That's so sweet. Yeah. Hi, that's. Let's go talk to her. Let's ask her for a test. Let's ask her for a test. Of course. Yeah, let's go. Of course. Oh. 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 My man, my man Daniel, come on now. Hello, hello. <laughs> Did you pray for the lady? Now we're going to go to her house and pray for her house. 
It was oh, so beautiful. Like, yeah. I know, the pink. It was so beautiful. We're just sitting there. Yes. So. How yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to speak. I lived in Portugal. What was her name? So we just prayed for this lady. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I prayed for a child because the child was going through like some heart problems. Since, you know, he's three years old only, so he had already had a heart surgery. So we prayed for the for the son. And now we're over the house, praying over the house, which is going to be nice. And then the lady, she's nice. She's like a nice, like, Spanish lady. She was so cute. So inviting. It was awesome. That was the uh, most random, you know, meetup we've ever had. Essentially, just the woman's like called us out that we just started talking to her, man. And uh, through all of that, man, God really just this thing awesome. We we talked to the lady, and she talked about how you know her husband died from alcohol poisoning, and um, she has like a lot of kids. One of the one of her grandchildren, uh, child, grandchildren, which her daughter lives here, and then her grand her daughter, who has a son. Which is not that hard to say, but I made it hard to say. Um, she was going through heart surgery. You know, he had a heart surgery at three years old, and uh, he had like a bunch of he had like some few scars around his chest. You know, we just prayed for him, we prayed for healing, and then um, we prayed for the for for the for the for the mother. And she gave her life to Christ. It was the most amazing thing. And she was weeping a little bit, and the presence of God was very strong in there. And we just to see all that happen was just awesome. You know, God's working, God's moving. And if you guys don't know, God loves you so, so much. So whoever's watching, I hope somehow this can help you in any way that you realize that God loves you so, so much. And uh, that was a good one. And there's probably still a few more to go and then we have to leave in a bit, but dude, it's absolutely lit, man. Absolutely amazing. What's going on, future me here, um, interrupting the video, dude. Um, what happened, you know, so we talked to the, to the beautiful, like, you know, Dominican Republic ladies. And right after that, you know, we, walked, we went down the street and um, I didn't record anything that happened after that because I guess like the scenario that we were in is just the last thing that was on my mind was my camera. It was like, it was one of those things that was just super spiritually, like there's a lot of things that happened spiritually that day and that one, this, this one specifically was very intense. And um, we met a man who was dealing with like some spirits and he said that he that we that he knew that we were coming and he was waiting for us so we were there talking to him and we just we had a long conversation with this guy especially one of our girls who knew spanish she um she was talking a lot to him because she understood and like like because the guy had a lot to say and so just like so did she and it was amazing because like i think there was t there were times where she said words she didn't even understand but like god was speaking to her and it was beautiful in spanish and um you know, the guy talked a lot and at one point we prayed for the guy and at that moment when we finished praying like the guy couldn't say a word like the guy i don't know if he was like struck by like by god or not but he he could not say a word he was silent and we went to talk to to his sister because his sister came into the conversation as well and explained to her like us her story and like why she believed in god because like you know we're preaching her the gospel and she's like you know god saved me from something she, because of that like god saved her life like straight up like from I was I don't know if it was from like an accident, but she she saved saved her life and saved her kid's life, and she had like three or four kids, and uh, we went there, and one of her kids had had cerebral palsy and he went blind in the right eye, and we prayed for him, and we, like honestly like when we when we were there it, it wrecked me because we prayed for a long long time and um, the kid was he was all like he was pretty much all around me like so he he was blind in the right eye and like barely could see the left eye and so like he was touching a lot and. He was feeling my hair and like, it was honestly amazing because like, you know, the kid was confused probably because he heard like a lot of people and heard a language he didn't understand. But, um, we prayed for a long time and God's, God's presence was very strong there and it was amazing. Um, to see how God worked in that moment and, and faith and prayer and the seed that, that was planted through like, through prayer and through, uh, you know, the power of just us being there together, you know, random people from a different country wanting to help and wanting to love and wanting to to, to talk to them and pray for them. And I, I really think that God planted a seed there and it was amazing. So we prayed a lot there and we were literally an hour and a half late to our bus. It, it was honestly funny because it, it, like, it was just like a moment where like time flew by so fast and all that mattered was them. Yeah, man, God's good and 
If you don't know, God loves you. And Jesus died for you on the cross because he loves you. So like what happened was beautiful and was amazing. And that's why like I couldn't record anything because like it was just a thing that was just my, like it was super spiritually like insane and I like the camera was the last thing that was on my mind. But God is good, man. God is so good. Worship and it's 11 o'clock and right now the sky is looking like this dude What in the heck? Literally the sky is like some weird red and of course like around the other side is a bit more darker But for some reason this side over here is just red But yeah, um I guess with all that being said What a night um Today was an absolutely longest but like the most beautiful day I think I've ever had in my life there's definitely a lot, a lot of things that happened that I just did not expect to happen at all. Because to me, like, being obviously a guy from Florida, you know, who's used to so many different things and I guess privileges that, that we have as Americans, I, we take so much things for granted, it is actually unreal. So to see the way God worked through all of this is just been the most beautiful thing. Um, so like, I definitely will be getting into uh, just the testimonies behind it and when i go through like a little bit of the footage i'm gonna explain like behind the scenes with everything that's going on and that just scared me like crazy but, um, it's night time here and i'm gonna be doing some awesome things later on tomorrow another day behind the scenes with everything that's going on. 